Good afternoon. Today is Sunday, July 12, 2020, and it's about 4.45 p.m. Uh, here in Pasadena, California. And here is the weekly update uh, for the last week. So the wind resorts are down 97% uh, year over year in June versus 93.2%. Uh, they were down 93.2% in May. This is for the in Macau, the resort operations in Macau. Again, wind resorts, 97% year over year in June versus down 93.2% in May uh, year over year in Macau. This is uh, devastatingly bad numbers, obviously. Uh, frankly, it's it's so bad, I, it's, it's hard to believe it's real, but you can look it up yourself and see that it, it is, as many sources reporting this. Uh, so that means even after the reopen, uh, nobody came back, which is also happening in other places, but I'll get, that, get to that in a second. Uh, the sports reopen that seems to be pressed now uh, along all four major leagues. I'm going to say right now on the record, this is going to turn into an absolute unmitigated disaster. If it doesn't, I would be extraordinarily surprised just because of the conditions of everything, uh, the supplies, the fact that the playing locations are in hot spots that are only getting worse by the day, players that are um, arguing with the union or, or complaining to the union over this, uh, uh, lots of issues. They will probably push ahead uh, at least some, you know, I don't know whether all four are going to get them all off the ground here starting at the end of this month, but it looks like they're going to try. But it's going to be shut right back down. They're not going to make it through the schedule. None of them are going to make it through the schedule. And as I explained last time, uh, the risk here of pushing this, when every other sports organization in the world that has any sense about this virus has pushed their schedules off a year, the American companies apparently want to push this. And they're going to pay the price, just like everybody else pays the price. But I guess they're not going to learn that until it actually happens. So we're going to watch that happen. Um, it's, it's going to happen right in front of your face. And we're going to end up back in lockdown again. And that's already happening in some places. So follow the science or else. That's the bottom line. Uh, COVID-19 is airborne. I said that three months ago before the scientists did. Uh, it's really not that hard to figure out. So that opens up a whole new um, uh, field of difficulty, which I won't talk about here. The scientists will get to that soon enough since they have now opened up that talking point. Uh, you're going to see more on that. Uh, the LinkedIn farming operation for um, new leagues to finance is still going on. I still get contacts and new connections every day. I haven't said anything about that recently because I said I'm not going to report anything until the deals are done. But it's still going on, and I still get connections and activity every single day. Uh, I want to be clear about something, and I want to set this out right now, and I don't want to hear this anymore because it's a flat up and down lie, okay? okay. The following is, is a claim that's being made, and it's... 100% false, okay? There is no claim by Seth Leon on the present uh, all sports market. None, okay? So no matter what happens, okay, no matter what happens with the Leon claim, it has no effect on ASM because the claim is only on me personally at this point. There is no other, the companies that he named have nothing to do with the present organization. They were errors actually and I tried to correct them and they didn't listen to me and they went ahead and filed against entities that were defunct and or never operated in the first place so all this left is me okay so there is no liability for all sports market as relates to the Leon claim okay it has no bearing on our stockholders it has no bearing on on our users it has no bearing on any of that it is purely personal at this point okay so stop with the lies, okay? It's false. Uh, the SEC matter is still pending. The Supreme Court case has unquestionably weakened the SEC's enforcement powers. Do your own research. And we're going to pursue this matter to the end, okay? There is a uh, an accounting uh, package that is being prepared that will go out next week um, and make the request of the court uh, timely by Friday. And it's going to clearly show you that the money was deployed along the tracks exactly as we said. And there's going to be some real surprises in there as to who got paid what and for what. And a bunch of rumors and lies out there that are going to be shown to be false. Okay. Uh, so anyway, point of that is that is going to happen. It's being prepared right now. It's going to go out next week. There is no claim there. 
there, there, there's a claim, but there's no, there's no uh, adjudication. There's no liability at this point. Okay, so the matter has to be fully adjudicated, and that will go to the Supreme Court if necessary. Okay, that will go to the Supreme Court if necessary. Okay, so do not spread that false information that Leon has any any claim on the present market. He does not. Neither does anybody else. There are no other active claims. There are no other active edu uh, investigations. There are two items. There's the legacy Leon matter from a decade ago, which applies to me personally, and there's the pending SEC matter, which is going to be fully pressed all the way to the Supreme Court if necessary. And the SEC's powers have been weakened by the, the Supreme Court decision last week. And we have a case, okay? We have a case. This is not... Uh, fighting for the sake of fighting. This is fighting because the Securities and Exchange Commission is wrong in this matter, okay? We have been pursuing regulation for more than a decade. We've deployed millions of dollars in that direction. We have never been lawbreakers or tried to break the law. We've done everything we possibly can to follow it and actually help create law where possible by filing on other cases, by putting out public statements, by doing comments on other cases, so don't fucking give me that shit, okay? We're going to fight this until the end. What you've done to us in this situation is absolutely bullshit, and we're going to fight you to the end, okay? It's not right. You painted 5% of the picture, okay? You've made it incredibly difficult for us to do the mission we've been on for nearly 20 years, and you motherfuckers are going to have to deal with it in a courtroom, period. Vegas is a ghost town. Again, bars are shut down, casinos are next. Tons of complaints from customers about non-compliance with social distancing. They don't make me do it at this casino, so now you're getting this friction between, well, this casino makes me do it, this casino doesn't make me do it. Yeah, good luck with that. What's end up gonna end up happening is people are just gonna go, we're not gonna go. That's what you're gonna get, okay? Atlantic City restart, <laughs> flop. Look it up. Levi's, 15% workforce cut. In my whole life, I don't think I've ever seen that. So uh, Levi's has, a, a, of course, I mean, a huge global footprint uh, all over the world. And for them to cut 15% of their workforce, especially since their markets are everywhere in the world, they've been around for 100 years. Yeah, it's, it's bad news. Um, Brooks Brothers bankruptcy, uh, that good, okay, frankly. Because that whole suit thing's a bunch of bullshit anyway. Playing dress up from the 18th century is not how we do things anymore. Palantir IPO. This is a bunch of guys to watch. Uh, this is the, uh, I would call it the super nerd spy group uh, driven by Peter Thiel. So, yeah, it's been, it's a private company. It's been around a long time. Uh, pay attention. Elon, uh, Kanye, politics, all of that. Uh, as I said clearly many times, uh, Elon Musk is no friend of Donald Trump, okay? I know this. I'm not going to explain it again, okay? May Longson, a friend of the world, works there as, as one of the first employees. And this uh, Kanye West, I don't know if that's serious or not, but I know for a fact that they spend time each, at each other's houses and all that stuff. So if I were him, I don't know really what's going on there, but if I were Kanye, I don't follow him. It's not my thing. But uh, what I would do is I would start the Hollywood party. You, you want to have some fun with it. Not birthday party. That doesn't make any sense. But Hollywood, Hollywood party. Just start the – since everybody thinks that, that that's a political party, just go ahead and start the Hollywood party. That's what I would do. Um, get the SRI into the conversation. So there's a lot of conversation about sports uh, risk right now, and those really starting to come out. As I've said, the real issue here – is uh, is insurance, okay? And nobody has a handle on this and nobody wants to write pandemic insurance. So SRI has that um, uh, feature. I mean, that's what it's about, sports risk, in sports risk index, okay? So uh, we need to find a way to get that product into conversation because it's an active product right now. It's a product that is We've developed it. We've, te we've done testing on it. We have a patent in China for it. We have patents in other places for it. It would work in the market right now. It would work in the market right now to help with these issues. Uh, gambling and betting will never, and I mean never, ever, never, ever, ever, ever beat investing in anything, okay? It is a fool's errand to think that gambling 
on any form is going to be investing if they're equivalently available. I'm going to say this over and over and over again. Gambling is no competition. That is the old way of doing things, okay? For old people who are not going to live much longer. Look, gambling is not even, my generation doesn't do much of that, okay? It's, it's really not something that is uh, uh, appealing. My kids don't care about it. None of my friends, none of my, my kids' friends care about it. Okay, so we're going to win this because you can't beat me on that word. It's impossible. Nobody, they're going to look at you like you've lost your mind if you say that, that gambling is better than investing. It, it doesn't make any sense. It's nonsensical. Ivy League sports canceled in the fall. Of course, you know, our, our uh, sports leaders here can't get their heads out of their asses, but, you know, in, in the pro leagues because they're greedy jackasses that want the money more than they care about their reputations and their, the health of their players. Because look, if they disappoint the public in this current condition where everybody is so freaked out and looking for something to get a respite away from this, you're going to lose your customers for a very long, long, long time. You're taking an extreme risk and you're going to see that that proves itself out like the sunrise coming up every morning here. Over the coming weeks and months, it's just going to play out just like this stupid reopening in the South and in Florida and all the rest of that crap. It's just science. It's math and science and logic and reason. And if you're not okay with that, you know, that's your problem <laughs> because those things really exist. And if you don't operate under those principles, you're going to collide with them eventually. And the, and the result isn't going to be very pretty. Um, United cut 45% to cut 45%. Half the economy's gone. I said that. It's in writing. Half the employees are going to be gone, especially in air travel. I'm surprised it's actually not more than that. Uh, Trump tax affair. So two cases. Sorry, dude, you lost. You're not invincible. You can't do whatever you want. You can't hide things from the courts. Okay? 100% false. Okay? ASM advisors will be charter members of the Sports Vote Campaign Committee. I'm going to give you some information on that in the coming weeks. Not yet. No charge. This is not a thing to create a new reason to pay. You already were qualified from the things that uh, happened last year. I have that list. So you're going to automatically come into the initial group and, and be part of the initial testing group for the tools and all the rest of the things that we're working on at no charge. Unemployment is 21% or more, more lies uh, by the Trump administration and the cronies about the unemployment numbers. It is a sick, twisted mess. They're, they're putting out a survey information. Look, a survey is when you ask people questions. Unemployment insurance is a legal claim, okay? Survey said, legal claim. When you file for unemployment insurance, every two weeks you have to recertify under penalty of perjury that a set of facts are continuing to be true. That information is going to be true most of the time, okay? It's going to be true almost all of the time. There's a very tiny number of people in this world that will sign a sworn statement and lie. Like, uh, like a president, you'll do it, but most people won't, okay? So there are 33 million active unemployment claims. The workforce is 160 million, give or take, in the United States. Do the math. And that doesn't count people who already expired out, they don't qualify anymore, <clears throat> or for whatever reason, they aren't even looking for a job anymore, okay? So they've lied to us, and the problem with this <clears throat> is that Congress is about to recess, and if they don't correct this, they're gonna make very, very bad policy decisions, 